Yo guys, what is going on? This is Riptic and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at Call of Duty World War 2 which is Call of Duty 2017. It's the supposedly leaked title for this year's game. Um, you know, I just want to, uh, in this video we're just going to go over uh, what my expectations are for this Call of Duty. You know, like what I'd like to see in there, what I wouldn't like to see in there, uh, what I think would work well um, and, and just things like that. You know, kind of like a Call of Duty 2017 wish list. Um, but before we do get into the video, guys, if you feel if you're feeling like it, please leave a thumbs up on the video if you do go on to like it. Uh, it just shows me that you support the content and you support the videos that are coming out here on the channel. Uh, in addition to this, I'll have a lot more vi modern videos up soon as well. Uh, some more mod menu showcases, including Serendipity 4.7, um, and maybe some others for Call of Duty as well. But guys, let's get into this. Okay, so my first uh, my first uh, expectation, obviously, nobody wants supply drops. Ever since Sledgehammer Games came into the mix, they introduced supply drops with Advanced Warfare. Um, it, it was them that introduced it. And I know um, it's Activision that are the main people behind this. Like, they're the ones wanting it in. But it came with Advanced Warfare, which was a Sledgehammer Games title. Like, ever since that, nobody's like Call of Duty. They robbed us in Advanced Warfare. They robbed us in Black Ops 3, not so much because Black Ops 3 is pretty fair, it's a Treyarch title, all Treyarch titles are pretty decent to be fair, uh, and they've and they've just blatantly mugged us off in this year's Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, um, with all the supply drops, the Mark II crap and everything like that, and it's just not fun anymore, like, to win the game you have to pay now, like, no to supply drops, um, the, the next thing that I'm wanting are Battlefield Dynamics. Now, don't call me a Battlefield fanboy. Personally, I don't like Battlefield. Um, I'm not a COD fanboy either, Like, but I do... like. For me, Battlefield's a bit too realistic. Games are a bit too long. Maps are, like, too big. Um, but I think it would be good to have maybe, like, the one ultimate map in Call of Duty that's big, like, like a, the size of a Battlefield map where you've got some... Uh, dynamics uh, in there, such as mo different methods of transport, whether it being tanks for World War Two or planes or something like that, It'd be, or like an old train or something. I think it would be pretty good. Now I know Black Ops Two were the first people to introduce map dynamics uh, with the water systems in I think it was Hydro uh, and different things like that. And at Treyarch have always been really good at that. So I think if they could do something that's a bit more battlefield sided to that, then it'd be a lot more. Uh, interactable and used, it'd be, it'd be a lot better. Um, you know, I'm not being funny. You th you shoot a rocket launcher at a building on Battlefield. Th there's no building left. You shoot one at COD. The wall's intact. There's no scratch marks. It's literally just a just a puff of smoke that's left on the wall. It's not that real, to be fair. And to COD's had that element of fakeness in it for a long time. It's just that COD logic. Um, but yeah, I reckon Battlefield Dynamics could help out the series just a little bit, especially with it being World War Two. You know, I can understand pre-gen consoles, you know, last gen not being able to handle it because of the memory issues. But this is next gen now. I'm not being funny. You've got PlayStation 4 Pro. You've got Xbox Scorpio coming out as well. You know, it, it's going to step up the game a bit. Um, I'm wanting amazing guns now. I'm talking maybe something like World at War style guns here. Bit of PPSH, bit of H uh, the HP40. Is it? I think I just screwed up Call of Duty for life there. If 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 it's not that, um, you know, I'm expecting to see some decent guns. Um, you know, I want actual like I want proper stats. I want uh, guns that are relatable to the era. Um, the biggest one is boots on ground. I want boots on the ground. I don't want no jetpacks. I'm gonna put an image of the screen on screen now of somebody that found this as soon as Sledgehammer Games said it's gonna be boots and ground. You know, because of this Nazi special jetpack that helped them win the war. No, 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 none of this. This can no. This cannot be. If it's unlocked by supply drops, I will do a video of me snapping my PS4 disc for it. Okay, that's a promise. If there is some special Nazi jetpack in a supply drop, I will snap the disc. This is not happening. As Advanced Warfare Ruin Cod with booster packs, like, I'm not being funny, double jumping and then speed boosting to the left, like, nah, this is not on, right? Black Ops 3 really won it back, like, it was a smooth, dynamic, linked chain system that would, that flowed really nicely, like, I reckon Black Ops 3 was the best for EXO movements, because it wasn't exactly an EXO, uh, and then Infinite Warfare this year just killed it as well, because it's too fast-paced. Um... 
I want appropriate kill streaks. I don't want none of these raps and motherships. K9 unit, yeah, bring them back. Chopper gunner, I'm not so sure. Maybe bring them back. Maybe something like a Spitfire. You know, I'm not. I'm not all too good on my World War history. You know, like I did. I did study history at GCSE and get a B or C, but like, yeah, I didn't really pay that much attention. So if I've like just said something like World War One, there, like, please don't hate at all. Um, but yeah, like maybe some of the World War, uh, the World at War style kill streaks. You know. You can like the style of grenades that you had, your style of kill streaks and everything like that. Maybe like a bombing run. Uh, I know they're pretty good. Mortar strikes like that. Uh, dynamic maps. Like I said before, with the battlefield dynamics, I want dynamic maps. Maps that change to your environment depending on your actions. Like I say, you you shoot building, building collapses. Can't go through that path anymore or building anymore. Simple as really. Dynamic camos. Again, Treyarch were the first people to do this, and respect to Treyarch. Um, you know, they, they had the moving camos on the Cyborg and Dragon Packs. They then bought it into Weaponized 115 Afterlife. I'm not being funny. Treyarch have never failed to impress me for a Call of Duty. And, yeah, Black Ops 2 was amazing. They, they hit the nail on the head with that. And then Black Ops 3 too. Um, what else? I'm going to say here, what about co-op? Now, Treyarch have always hit it again the nail on the head with zombies. They've always got that 100%. Infinite Warfare this year have copied them, but they've put their own spin on it. And to be fair, Zombies in Spaceland was really good. I've not played it that much, but from what I played, it was really good. Um, I've not played Rave in the Redwoods, but apparently, uh, I can think that that, again, would be good. Shaolin Shuffle, the new DLC 2-pack, Zombies, that... Let's move on from that. Um, but yeah, like... I know there's been extinction, there's been co-op, and I would prefer them to do some sort of co-op um, this time. I don't know how it, they, they go about that. I, I reckon that if there was like a campaign that you could do with your with online players, but as a co-op, then I reckon that would be pretty decent. To be fair, um, larger teams. Now again, more battlefieldy, but I think that larger teams would be decent because. Um, like I'm, I'm sick of I'm sick of killing the six same people over and over again in a, in a lobby in a game. Uh, I feel like if there was some more dynamic and maybe some larger maps, then you know larger teams would be good. Whether your teams could have specific roles or not, I think that'd be pretty decent as well. Again, no medics. Like no, I've not played Battlefield that much, but like nobody likes a medic. Like yeah, no one no one wants them. It's too realistic. Longer games as well. Um, not sure how many people feel about this, but longer games would kind of be good, especially if it's a larger map. Um, maybe if there's more towards an objective play, I reckon that would be decent. Um, yeah, if, if there was something to do for these larger games, then that would definitely be good. Again, more realistic, you know, none of the COD logic, like, you know, your dogs do a Superman jump from four, mi four miles away, you know. And end up headshotting you, ripping your, ripping your esophagus out. Like there's no, there's no need for that. Like make it realistic. Let the poochie come up to you, and bite your toes off. Like I'm, make, I'm making myself laugh. Like something like that. Just make it realistic, please, please, sledgehammer. Um, good maps and DLC. I want good maps. Infinite Warfare DLC maps, core maps. Shit. Apart from Genesis, that's the only good one because that's a dome remake. Uh, just like Strike Zone off Ghost as well, and yes, that is a remake. Do not discrepant. Uh, do not. Do not fault that. It, it, it's the same map. Um, good DLC. I want DLC that's worth buying. Infinite Warfare DLC this year. It's not worth buying. The only thing I'd actually buy from the DLC packs this year is DLC Two Continuum, be purely for the fact that Rust is being remastered. Like that's the OG map it hasn't been seen since Modern Warfare Two. Um, but yeah, like good good maps and DLC. I want good maps that have a lot of uh, interactability. They need to be diverse. They need to. They need to have a something that that makes them stand out from all the other Call of Duty maps and games. Um, yeah, it, it's pretty simple, so Gemma. Challenges. Man wants challenges back. Now I know I just referred to myself as a man like that was really bad, but I want challenges back. Challenges I've not been in since MW two, MW three even. I think yeah, MW three. Like they need to come back. They they were a decent way to rank up. And they actually let you work towards something in the game other than 50 headshots for gold camo, something like that. And with that being said, 
I wouldn't like. I'd, I'd expect fifty to fifty-five ranks, maybe forty-five to fifty ranks uh, this year. It, it seems to be the trend that's following on with Call of Duty at the moment. Um, and I'd say maybe 10 to 15 prestiges, something like Black Ops 2. I know they removed the extra 5 prestiges, um, but but that's what I'd expect. Maybe you get to 10th prestige and then get a master prestige like Black Ops 2, or you go to 15th prestige and then get a master prestige, uh, something like that. And then you know the the prestige master master prestige is something that you, that you're that's rec- that recognises you as like someone that sweated the game, you know, in, in typical COD player tradition. Um, I think the last thing to say on this, guys, is cross-platform play. Everybody wants it. And I know there's been a lot of the talk in the media about it at the moment with Microsoft saying that they're going to allow it. Don't think it'd be ready this year. Maybe that might be something for 2018 club with Treyarch. Yes, Treyarch. Um, but, yeah, I, I do think that it's definitely needed. It's It's time... You know, we're in 2017 times of change in Activision and Microsoft and Sony. You just need to do something. Why can't you just merge together and create like the play box or the X stage? Don't create the X station, actually. Just just create the play box, guys. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's definitely needed cross-platform. Like, I'm not being funny. Xbox think they're all this and that. And, you know, you've got your Xbox community that are like two-year-olds. Not slating. I'm not slating, okay? No hate. Um, no, nah, I'm joking. Uh, it would be good to play against Xbox, play, Xbox players, though. You know, like, if your mates have Xbox, you're on PlayStation. You know, it, it'd create that thing. And I actually reckon that sale revenues would absolutely rocket for Call of Duty, and especially Grand Theft Auto V. I know it's not this video, but, yeah, I reckon it. I reckon sales would rocket. But anyway, guys, that is my expectation list for 2017. But in the reality, it's just going to be the same shit called, like, Infinite Warfare, where there is going to be an, a, like a secret jetpack that you will not buy supply drops. Supply drops will still be in the game. You will have to unlock everything by supply drops, including your ranks this time as well, most likely. So you've got to get all 55 uh, ranks by your supply drops and then actually rank up yourself to get the prestige. Um, the maps are going to be crap. It's not going to be realistic. You're still going to get killed from about a mile away by a dog. And yeah, that's pretty much just COD in like 30 seconds, I think. No, probably less than that. Anyway, guys, my name is Riptic. If you did like the video, like I said at the start, please leave a thumbs up. Also, hit the big red subscribe button just below. Make sure you never miss out on any of my content. Modern videos are still coming in. Uh, I just thought I'd do something a little bit different today, guys. Um, yeah, just thought I'd do something a little bit different. Anyway, guys, peace out.